can't get in there unless... Oh, I suppose you could if you already had the level 2 possession power. But you're unlikely to have that at this point. Unless you basically... Can you blink in there? Uh, no, you can't... You can basically, you can't blink through an area, through a space that you couldn't fit through. Ba basically. It moves you faster, but it doesn't let you go through stuff you couldn't fit naturally. But the, we will need a, we'll need another way to uh, we'll need another way to get into that area. And meanwhile, the, the heart is not a fan of the overseers. It seems. Is the heart a fan of anyone? She likes Samuel. But everyone likes Samuel. Samuel's awesome. Much cooler than Raiden, as you know. <laughs> oh. Unsuccessful attempt to take over that ra There we go. Yeah. The range on possession is not unlimited. You have to get reasonably close to them. So that, that health bar, is that for the rat, or is that, like, possession time as well? That's, uh, that's just the rat's health bar. You can, if, you can be killed in rat form, and if you do, you, if whatever you're possessing is killed, you die. I see. Alright, now we're inside. And in the distance, we can hear this guy preaching on, uh, Overseer Doctrine. About the outs- remember, the outsider is sort of their religion's equivalent of the devil, more or less. And- and you hear he's going on about him at considerable length. Yeah. And there's quite... All right, now, embarrassing... Those guys standing there listening, I assumed that they were overseers as well before. They're not. Mm. And that... Well, you know how I said I don't kill people who are unarmed? I should have meant that, too. I didn't... I don't intentionally kill people who are unarmed. Or I should say I don't knowingly kill people who are unarmed. And, and this guy's still going on and on about his evil magic and his, his five attributes. Oh. This guy's talking about apparently he's got a sister-in-law who's interested in math and he's concerned. And that she would be a witch. Basically. Well, he's, 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 here he'll hopefully explain some of the signs of witchcraft. Hmm. <laughs> a disfigured man might come after her. Progressive game of the year. Exactly. This, this, the conversation goes on this weird tangent here. Is the out... Again, a lot of weird, creepy stuff in Pandisia. Meanwhile... But the see, I can see those guys are not... not those guys are not overseers. They're just regular guys listening to the sermon. To but that will avail them nothing. All lives are equally worthless in the cold eye of Corvo Atano. Not a winged serpent. You can cook the grenade in your hand. Oh! Four for one. Oh! Feels so good. Oh, here comes another guy. Yeah, one bullet does not always put a guy down. Especially if it's not in the head. And of course, you can't really shoot these guys in the head from the front. Oh, you hear that alarm? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, through the throat. Down he goes. Yeah, Corvo's got some nuanced swordplay. Yeah, you're... Well, you were the Lord Protector. And it wasn't just for your raffish Mediterranean good looks, I assume. 
Oh. Well, that might have gotten you, Emily. Well, yes. They never. It's all. It's. It's always. Should I steal from the church collection box? Of course I should. All right. I'm not going to read all these, but these are. Um, these are the seven strictures. Uh, like I said, they're sort of like the commandments. There's roving feet, restless hands. Remember what I said about your hands, Nick? Yes. Um, lying tongue. Restrict the tongue that lies, you know. Uh, let's see. Wandering gaze. Wandering gaze. Restrict a wandering gaze. It looks hither and yonder at things. Moving feet. Rampant hunger. Restrict Can you really control that? You, you wouldn't. You'd think. You wouldn't think. I think it means, like, gluttony in this game. Wanton flesh. Oh, so that's, like, lust. Yeah. Errant mind. You're also pride. Errant mind. Moment of laxity begets a lifetime of heresy. That's a pretty good line. It's not mine. I, I'm, accust I'm accustomed to having an audience that understands Warhammer references. I... Okay, here they are. Here the strictures are in short. They are the inroads of the outsider. And I can oh, I can you can hear a uh, something magical humming away in the distance. Interesting. Which is interesting, considering the overseers aren't supposed to approve of the existence of such things. I just find it interesting that this religion focuses on the seven strictures, strictures, things that you're supposed to not do instead of, well, you know. Well, it's a nicely subtle thing. You, know, you notice they talk about, you know, the outsider and the dangers of the outsider and the evil of the outsider. Mm -hmm. They never mention any sort of gods. That is pretty nice. It's, it's clever, in, I suppose. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird when you stop to think about it. There's no god or gods that they ever meant. Like Martin makes some vague references to spirits or whatever, but aside from that, there's no, there's no suggestion that they believe in any sort of like benevolent powers in the universe. Hmm. It's like it's like a sort of like Lovecraftian religion where there's. Oh, now here, oh here's our choice. We can switch the poison to Campbell's side, or we can poison both if we're just being an asshole, or dump them out, or just walk away. And I saved here because later on I will be showing you the other possibilities. Um, but one of the ways you can assassinate Campbell is to simply switch the glasses so that he uh, drinks the poison. And you can hear them in the distance coming. Oh, there's that rune up there. That little plaque under there, it says something like, here we keep an, like, an, uh, like a tool of the outsider is like a sign of our strength against temptation or something like that. But yeah, it's kind of creepy that the religion has a devil, but basically no god. Hmm. It's like very sort of Lovecraftian. I don't know about creepy, but it's... it's weird. Yeah, it's a very interesting. It's sort of, like I said, it's sort of almost like Lovecraftian. There's man is just com the universe is filled with hostile, evil spiritual powers that man is just completely alone against. Ah, here we are. <laughs> Reminds me of the episode of Seinfeld where someone. George says something like, God will kill him before he's allowed to be happy. And she says, George, I thought you didn't believe in God. And he says, I do for the bad things. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. All right, here, here we go. Oh, I agree, I agree. A There's Campbell. And suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tibian red. Yeah, I got into the Tibian red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's out of the sea of blood. <laughs> they never explained this. I almost wish I'd been there. It's one of those stories that's better not being explained, really. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. <laughs> I'm all right, sir, now. I've gone the wrong way. Uh oh. Now, about these overseers. I was just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to I can't allow you to kill me. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Uh-oh. What on earth are you talking about? No time. No time. I'm... Listen carefully. 
There's peanuts in this, aren't there? I'm allergic. Okay, now I shot him with the, uh, the sleep dart. Reason for that is I need to go back in here to get the jur blackmail journal from, Kurt, from him. And, and then I need to get uh, Kurnow out, out of here, because, you know, it kind of looks like he killed him right now. So I need, to, I need to carry his unconscious body out to safety. And meanwhile, there's guys coming into the meeting to see what's going on. So I have to hightail it out of here and soon. And so we'll just placing him outside do the trick? No, it will not. You need to uh, take him a ways off and put him in a safe place. It uh, it, 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 it points you the way to go on the map. Uh -oh. so these guys going to come in. I'm kind of disappointed by the fact they, they respond as if they fought, just found a generic dead body, mm. apparently. Like, there doesn't appear to be any sort of special dialogue acknowledging the fact that they found uh, Campbell dead. Which would have been nice. Kind of an odd omission, considering how much attention to detail there is in so many other little things. That's not a big deal. I imagine they would have, if they had more time. Possibly they just didn't anticipate you being foolish enough to stick around afterwards. But, yeah, we need to get... Yeah, to complete this little side quest, we need to put Samuel somewhere where the overseers won't find him, basically. Not the same. Kurnow, I mean. Uh oh, there's an overseer. And so while carrying a body, you can teleport, but you can't do drop attacks. Yeah. All right, you just sit tight over here. Yeah, I guess you, you got your hold them with your right hand, and as long as your left is free, you can still. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I screwed I screwed up that drop a cack, but I did knock him down and then just skewered him on the ground. I was gonna say it looked like you. Uh... I did not pull. I I screwed that up. Oh, and again. And again, if you knock a guy down, like, from, like, a, a hit that doesn't kill him or whatever, you can, like, just run him through on the ground. It's quite nasty. Hmm. All right, but this area is clear. Coast is clear. Notice I can't quite reach up there properly. All right. Because, like I said, again, it's more... You get more, horizo you get more horizontal distance than vertical. But it's not an insurmountable problem. Notice how when I jump, it turns to an arrow. <laughs> Didn't mess it up that time, but... Yeah, if it's not high enough to get you on its own, sometimes uh, leaping into the air and then activating blink at the apex of your jump will make it possible. There we go. Now pick up Mr. Kurnow. And leave him in the dumpster. Our special agent Oscar the Grouch will be along shortly to take him into custody. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So yeah, take his Now he's safe. And Campbell is dead, and there's really no reason we can't just we can we can now head on to the next area we get to make a good our escape. But there's still a rune somewhere in that abbey, and you know, if I murdered an entire neighborhood to get a rune from Granny Rags, surely I can spend a little time wandering around in the abbey to get another one here. I thought that was uh, the one on the wall. There was that one, but there's another. Ah, okay. 
Here's where I got a little sloppy and just sauntered in. Oh! Yes. That was executed properly. But they heard, they heard he got a yell out before... See, bamf behind it. That's another cool thing with the uh, blink thing. You could like, if if a guy's in a position in fr where you can't get behind him without passing through his vision, you can like zip. Oh, you can like teleport past him or through him, basically. And down he goes. Yeah. Yeah. When it starts out, the blink just blink just feels like something used to you know move from ledge to ledge or whatever, but it, it has so many more uses once you get the hang of how the game plays. Case in point. Silent, instant. Very interesting. Now, into the basement. Where? Where's the rest? I don't want to go to the kennels. But... Here, hey, there's that music! There's something odd about that statue. Yep. There you go. You hit, you hit the eye, and she opens up. 